hello viewers uh, welcome to the channel now i am in this tutorial i am going to tell you that uh, how to simulate the uh, three phase mosfet bridge inverter with a 180 degree and 120 degree mode of operation uh, using the p spice you can see on this uh, left side that there is a picture of a three phase inverter mosfet bridge inverter which is been actually fed by the dc supply and you can see the upper group is 135 and the lower group is termed as a 462 it actually uh, get the name based on that triggering sequence so here on the abc we are getting the output and you can see the uh, this lovely output of a stepped wave and uh, uh, two stepped wave we are getting for the uh, different conditions so now i'm going to tell you that how to uh, simulate this in the 180 degree mode and 120 degree mode so please subscribe our channel and press bell icon so that you get the latest notifications on the uh, further uploads and also please visit our channel playlist to get more uh, tutorial on the piece files as well as a, a hardware demonstration of a power electronics lab so let us start with the little bit of theory part uh, now you can see that it is a 180 degree mode of operation waveforms for the uh, three phase MOSFET bridge inverter as I uh, shown you that the upper group is 135 lower group is a 462 here why it is called 180 degree mode because uh, one uh, power MOSFET or one switching device is actually conduct till the 180 degree after that its complementary device uh, in that leg uh, is going to be conduct for next 180 degree so you can see that one four in the uh, leg one it is actually uh, switch one and switch four is going to be uh, uh, get uh, triggered uh, in complementary manner and uh, you can follow these uh, uh, sequence and you can get uh, this kind of a sequence five six one six one two one two three two three four three four five and four five six and five six one back so in this way you are getting all these uh, phase voltages va0 vb0 vc0 with respect to the neutral and you can see that in 180 degree mode you will get a six step waveform you can count one two three four five six steps are there in all these three phases and uh, in the line voltages VAB, VBC, VCA actually you are getting uh, these kind of a two step waveform uh, where one uh, value is VS and the other value is zero then other value is minus VS so this kind of a waveform you will achieve for the one at a degree mode of operation let's see that how to simulate it in the piece twice so uh, quickly move to our capture CIS uh, now I have uh, actually already made this uh, particular uh, diagram or a schematic on this piece files uh, for the easiness and to save the time and you can get all these components very easily and uh, uh, your place part option uh, to save the time I actually already drawn it and actually simulated it now you uh, have to understand that there is a DC supply these are the IRF 840 MOSFETs let me uh, make it little bit clear for you so that you can uh, get the idea that what is uh, the exact switches are there their names are also there now you can uh, see that here uh, the 1, 3, 5 are MOSFETs are there their bidirectional diode is also connected D3, D1, D3, D3 and D5 also M4, M6 and uh, M2 and the 1 leg 1, 4 are complementary 3, 6 is complementary 5, 2 is complementary now to provide the gate pulses we have to use the V pulse option you will get on the place part if you place V pulse you will get this kind of a uh, 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 v pulse source uh, so i have already included and actually separated all their inputs over here for the better understanding the v1 is a lower value and the v2 is a higher value tr is a time of a rise or uh, t is a f is a time of fall so that you can give this much 0 0.1 microsecond and 0 0.1 microsecond each now here we can see that because uh, we are going to construct that uh, 50 hertz uh, uh, supply inverter so for that our time period will become 20 millisecond and because each power MOSFET is going to conduct remain on for the 10, uh, 180 degree so here it is uh, the pulse width we required for the triggering is uh, 10 millisecond because as soon as the triggering will remove this MOSFET switches will off and now what are the sequence the same 
v1 v2 tr tf pw and per values will be same for all these um, uh, mosfets now the here you have to understand that what sequence you have to follow to uh, actually trigger your uh, uh, devices so firstly you can see that 1 2 and uh, 3 4 then 5 6 are there so each uh, mosfet will be triggered after 60 degrees so here for the time delay is 0 millisecond and after 60 degree that is 3.33 millisecond that high reset uh, sorry a mosfet 2, 2 will be triggered then after that uh, it's uh, 60 degree uh, and this is uh, that is a uh, time delay 6.67 will correspond uh, you can understand it like that uh, 20 millisecond belongs to 360 so to uh, have a 120 degree what will be the time 20 by 360 into 120 will be 6.67 millisecond similarly for the other uh, mosfets you can calculate so after this the mosfet 4 will be at uh, 180 degree that is 10 millisecond then after that it uh, again 13.33 uh, uh, millisecond which, which belongs to 240 and then again it is at 6 uh, 300 degree so the 6 mosfet is 16.67 uh, and this sequence will go on and we have connected a uh, 1 kilo ohm star connected uh, resistor over here and we can take the uh, voltage uh, differential marker and we can actually place between the two lines like here VAB, VBC, VCA and then VAN, VBN and VCN like that you can take all these voltage waveform and for the uh, simulation profile you can uh, create new simulation profile while making a new project but as I have already make it, so I made it so I can show you the edit simulation profile that what I have given I'm going to simulate it for the 160 millisecond and the maximum step size will be 0 0.001 so that I can apply over here now again I will simulate it for your better understanding so now uh, let's see that what is our uh, uh, response of this uh, sequence here a lot of waveforms are here so we will going to separate it uh, for better understanding let's take uh, another window where we can shift our line voltages you can see here that our line voltages are well uh, similar to that whatever we have shown in the theory part so we can make it clear okay we can also shift we can do it over here I have already shown that each and everything that how to shift how to create all this schematic in my previous video so you can follow you can see that it is uh, like a vs0 then minus vs values are there now you can also shift this one and you can change its color also so that it will become uh, visible to you and you can change its thickness so this is nothing but your line voltages of a three phase uh, mosfet bridge in what in 180 degree mode of oper operation now what about these ones uh, for better clearance I want to show you on the and another plot also uh, let uh, copy one of the uh, phase voltages over here you can see that it is a six step one two three four five six six step waveform I have copied here actually for your better understanding so that you can see that these kind of uh, waveforms we are getting I, oh, I think maybe I have uh, in spite of copying I have cut out over here so I can copy it back over here also so it will become like this okay so this is going to be the your three phase uh, output of your phase voltages of 180 degree mode of operation you can see it very clearly on the screen that this is a six step waveform this is a two step waveform and for your better understanding I have shown this six step waveform this is as far as concerned to the three phase uh, MOSFET bridge inverter when working as a 180 degree mode here one thing you have to understood that your thyristors or your not thyristor actually your here you use the power MOSFET so your MOSFETs are actually conducting for in each case is conducting for 180 degree that is 10 millisecond because your total time period of 360 degrees 20 is equivalent to the 20 million and you are getting a 50 hertz uh, supply uh, step wave supply uh, AC supply at the output of your inverter 
so you can also do the later on uh, the different uh, Fourier transform analysis to get to know that uh, how much harmonics they are introducing uh, now uh, let's go to the 120 degree mode of operation first of all let me show you that uh, what is my uh, 120 degree mode of operation so let me show you this this is the 120 degree mode of operation what is the difference here that here in spite of uh, we are con not going to uh, like uh, switch on the device up till 180 degree in spite of this this from this t1 to this dashed area this is total 180 degree you can see that this t4 to this dash area is total 180 degree this dash area is of uh, actually 60 degree that means your device is conducting only for the 120 degree and rest of the 60 degree here it is no device is conducting then the complementary device get triggered okay again it will conduct for 120 degree then again there is a rest then again same will goes on so here you can see that at the time two switches are on one from upper group one from the lower group so you can see that this sequence 6 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 like that and here you unlike the 180 degree mode of operation your phase voltages are uh, two instead and your line voltages are actually uh, the uh, six step waveforms and uh, you can follow this sequence and what is the advantage over here actually, actually I have shown you that here when 180 degree mode of operation your complementary is device uh, going to uh, switch on when your first device is going to switch off so here there is a chances of a short circuit so we have to introduce a delay uh, in microsecond or something like that we have to introduce extra delay over here during the triggering otherwise the shoot throw problem will occur and the short circuit will occur in the uh, performance now here you can see that here it is extra 60 degree uh, conduction uh, is not not conducting so here you are getting a good enough gap to comp uh, switch on the complementary devices and there is no chances of a short circuit secondly in the 180 degree mode of operation at a time whenever the uh, you see that any two uh, any of the three devices will all uh, on uh, two from one group and one from other group so you can follow this sequence and you can see that all these three terminals are always connected to some a certain voltage but here in 180 120 degree mode of operation two devices will conduct and you can see that any two terminal will be connected to the certain voltages but the any third terminal will be uh, remain unconnected to either side so it can have a different voltage but in the case of a balance uh, so load and supply there will be no as such any unbalance but when there will be a reactive component it can be a uh, create a issue for you so now let's uh, quickly go to our uh, simulation uh, simulation part and try to understand that uh, what is my uh, 120 degree mode of operation that i have already done so i'm going to open that project and uh, let me search that one okay so this is my 120 degree mode of operation for your better understanding uh, let me clear this area because it is previously, sim previously simulated to save the time I actually not uh, simulating uh, not actually uh, creating uh, over here in spite of that I am directly simulating everything will be remain same the connection and each and everything will be same same v1 v2 will be same tr tr is also same only the thing will change that your pulse width that means you are going to uh, switch on your device only for the 120 degree uh, conduction so that means 6.67 in each case rest of the period and the time delay sequence will be the same here you can also uh, take it as a 3.3 or 23.33 uh, that is uh, okay and that is you are going to uh, follow now if we close the last simulation and we will do it and the same way we can also uh, select our simulation profile here it is uh, let me take a 160 and a 160 millisecond it is going to run and the 0 0.001 is the maximum step size so i'm going to apply it and now i'm going to run it uh, so let's see that what will be our simulation now these colors will show that our simulation is ready and the responses are over here we can now see that what is our uh, response so first of all let me show you the line voltages 
these are now stepped wave you can see clearly on this one i can show you and this is uh, take where this is uh, one phase uh, for one line voltage other line voltage you can shift over here and you can again change its uh, thickness so that you can watch it clearly and this is uh, uh, another one uh, let me change its color also let me change and let me change its thickness also all these uh, line voltages are actually stepped wave now for the better understanding of you let me show you any of the line uh, phase voltages it is two step so it is nothing but you can also uh, put uh, some thickness on this and similarly you are getting all the stepped wave uh, waveforms and related to 120 degree mode of operation so this is all about the 120 degree mode of operation of a three phase inverter and 180 degree mode of operation of three phase inverter i hope you understood very well and if there will be any query you can mention in the uh, our comment box and you can further uh, we can try to further resolve it so keep watching our channel subscribe it and uh, also press bell icon so that you get the many other tutorials also thank you